you dr parikshit uh, thank you very much uh, um, dear chair for another kind introduction at the outset i am thankful to dr bansi sabu sir and uh, entire team for an uh, kind invitation after li listening it to wonderful talks and uh, uh, in one of the talk uh, i was present uh, as dr raka said that it's a uh, it's a high blood sugar okay and that you need to uh, take into account uh, secondary causes uh, while you uh, prescribe uh, a first diagnosis case of a diabetes and uh, uh, my topic is uh, different from the previous two a uh, little bit of investigation point of view qualitative point of care usr the right tool to meet urgent need of a in clinic usr testing why it is so because ckd is silent detect in time and protect in time we all know that uh, albuminuria increase the risk of three fold heart attack four fold cardiovascular death and five fold increased risk of hospitalization for the heart failure so uh, just uh, one taste can really reduces the mortality and the morbidity which which most often suffered by our type 2 diabetes patients and why it is important uh, from this date i would like to say uh, chronic kidney disease is stepping up the ladder in terms of uh, uh, leading causes of life lost globally and diabetes is not far so as the diabetes progress similarly the chronic kidney disease will also progress look at the prevalence of chronic kidney disease in epic countries and uh, half of uh, that prevalence is contributed by china and uh, india we all know uh, that uh, how we can define the chronic kidney disease uh, apart from the uh, urine sentiment abnormalities electrolyte and other abnormalities abnormalities detected by histology structural abnormalities history of kidney transplantations these are the uh, abnormalities most often when we looked when we find the unknown cause of the chronic kidney disease but majority of the time that is the egfr and usr there are the two things that we always count on to diagnose the chronic kidney disease and look at the prevalence uh, of the chronic kidney disease in india this is a wonderful study by uh, dr kumar the indian chronic kidney disease studies where they have enrolled 4056 patients and strikingly what they have found one fourth of the patient they had a diabetes kidney disease 23% had a chronic interstitial nephritis 20% were unknown where those uh, 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 investigations were really help out and hypertension polycystic kidney and others uh, others etiology were found in this prevalent studies we know that how cardiovascular disease diabetes and ckd plays a uh, plays a uh, interplay between them if one is affected then we, we know that other two or other one might be affected and just to uh, revise the how albuminuria is a early marker for cardiovascular risk and kidney damage and generally occurs before the egfr decline and we generally say that it's uh, uh, up to 30 it's a normal one 30 to 300 it's a uh, uh, albuminuria stage a micro and then subsequently the macro but the usr levels less than 10 mg per where where you can say that even more than 10 you can say that they pose is a high risk for the cardiovascular Uh, uh risk so what kidney test generally we can offer to our type 2 diabetes patients that is uh, egfr you can calculate while uh, uh, measurement of serum creatinine and you can take into account the age ethnicity and the gender 
And the kidney damage, uh, albuminuria excretion rate, screening for albuminuria can be most easily performed by urinary albumin to creatine ratio in a random spot urine collection. USCR is the most appropriate first line test for the detection of proteinuria in CKD. More sensitive, qualitative and standardized measurement of loss of protein. Skidiogi and the National Kidney Foundation for screening CKD and monitoring of CKD uh, through urinary ACR. So, most uh, guidelines do suggest that USCR is the most appropriate first line test for the detection of proteinuria in a CKD. And as I mentioned, uh, where this study shows the lower limit of reference of a urinary albumin creatine ratio and the risk of chronic kidney disease progression in patients with type 2 diabetes. So, this study involved more than 4,800 patients confirmed and demonstrated that the cutoff of more than 10 mg per gram could significantly predict the cumulative incidence and progression of CKD in patients with type 2 diabetes. So, just more than 10 mg per gram would significantly prevent the progression of chronic disease. And this is the opportunity where we need to catch in to prevent the progression of the chronic kidney disease. We don't have to wait to 30 and beyond uh, 300. Then we can establish that this patient is suffering from the chronic kidney disease and then we imply our strategy. This study is most important for us to understand and the most important aspects of this chart for the patient communications because it is very difficult for most patients to say yes for investigating or you can say once you prescribe or once you advise the investigation of USCR because most of the time patients do not have any complaints. So, patient will say straight away that I don't want to do this investigation. But if you show this chart and if you communicate with your patient along with this chart, the patient, patient will be ready to do investigate USCR. Another trick to do USCR is that you just do a uh, dipstick. Most pharma company do provide a free of this urine dipsticks. And once you do a urine dipstick for a free, then on the on the color coding you can again advise that particular patient that you can go for USCR. This is what we do in our practice actually. Okay, and why it is important in the era of uh, I'm uh, just in the era of newer advancement actually. We do have a drugs actually where we can real retard the progression of chronic kidney disease. So, but why testing compliance is poor? I already mentioned that more majority of the time the costs matter to the patient actually and at the same time uh, the lengthy process of uh, uh, laboratory measurement, cultural issue also at the same time and these are the typical workflow of the central laboratory where the patient comes to the doctor's office taking blood samples, sample is packed and labeled, sample is again picked analyze in the lab, results sent to the doctor, interpret, interpretation of the result, contact the patients, patient come to doctor's office, discussion and the treatment. So, it is a bit lengthy process and we know we are in the era of uh, Swiggy and Jometo and the era of uh, mobile phone, 4G, 5G and uh, yesterday I I listened one video of the quantum computerization actually. It's not 0 to 1 actually, okay. So, we are heading for the compu uh, quantum computation. The speed matters to the most for us and for the patient also. And most of the time, the laboratory errors do occur at the pre-analytical phase. So, point of care cut short this steps actually. Patient comes to the doctor's office, finger prick sample, results and interpretation, discussion and the treatment. The patient like the most actually, okay. I do use a point of care for HB1C, USR, lipid, serum creatinine, in thyroid also and, and it gives an instant result and 
instant interpretation at the same time instance discussion actually we don't want to lose those moments uh, where the patient is most inclined patient is most inclined during the first half an hour remember that thing after the passing the this is my observation after passing one hour two hour the patient will say that okay i am getting late there are other thoughts in the patient mind so most uh, often this is a half an hour or one hour the most critical point this is what i have observed in my practice uh, we suggest that a point of care testing may be used for creatinine and urine albumin measurements where access to a laboratory is limited or providing a test at the point of care facility facilitate the clinical pathway what are the advantages of point care um, uh, point care device utilization uh, can be carried out in a wide range of settings convenience elimination of a simple transportation to the central laboratory as i mentioned minimal sample processing simple analytic process minimal sample requirement immediate availability of result as i mentioned why we can really offer this subset of the patient with the management because we do have a lot of option apart from the acn arbs we now have sgldt inhibitors glp1 ra and and mrs non steroid mineralocorticoid receptor antagonists this is the uh, kdo kdo guidelines for the managing the chronic kidney disease i am not going to detail but now we can really offer lot many things to our chronic kidney disease patient who are in the early stages but that is what we need to pick up in the early stages by by advising by investigating with the egfr and the easy availability of the point of care device which i am going to narrate why poct its compactness portability fast and accurate non laboratory personal improve in a patient care and immediate decision Aflion ACR test cartridge. The ACR test cartridge qualitative, uh, quantitatively assess the concentration of albumin and creatine and determines the albumin creatine ratio in human urine. Used for identification of renal disease in patient with diabetes and/or hypertension and other uh, etiologies of the chronic kidney disease also. so uh, these are the uh, functional part of the aflion test cartridge i'm not going to detail uh, you can call the company person and uh, he or she will highlight those parts so the benefits for the patient and for the scps while using aflion acr short assess time in a 5 minute aflion acr test conveniently gives reliable results when and where required patient consultation can be carried out with the confidence that the acr test cartridge contain all the reagent necessary for the measurement of albumin creatine and the acr these are the practical guide on a test procedure pull the sample device straight up the test cartridge fill the capillary touch the surface of the patient sample or the control fill it completely do not wipe up of the capillary replace the sampling device immediately analysis of the test cartridge must start within 1 minute touch for the patient sample or touch for controls the lid opens automatically insert the test cartridge with the barcode facing the left you don't have to do anything actually my reception sta staff is uh, doing since last more last 10 years time it's very easy hardly any error occurs uh, even my uh, new staff who had joined it and uh, do the procedure it's a very simple very convenient very easy actually you don't have to although these steps are written here but it's very simple to do that inadequate scp knowledge of a ckd limits the use of diagnostic testing as an early management strategy in india there is a lack of knowledge from the primary care physicians who may not exposed to ckd despite there being a high prevalence of this condition and as a result most scp test creatine in most scp just test the creatine but they do not even calculate the egfr 
and unfortunately most of the our labs do not even provide the calculated EGR also. Urine testing is often neglected or diphtic is used as a point of care testing. Current estimates of primary care provider recognition of kidney disease remains alarmingly low, indicating a strong need for educational efforts on CKD among providers. Improved CKD awareness will drive routine point of care testings and improve recognition of earlier stages of CKD for implementation of evidence-based medication regimen. So again, why point of care? Where it is going to help you out? Home care, CAM, clinician room, emergency room, operating room, intensive care unit, remote location. So, dear friends, kidney disease is silent, detect in time and protect in time. Thank you.